Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on March 18th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew. I, my apologies, no Daily Dew yesterday, but happy St. Patty's Day. Here is a green sun for you all. Looking here at the last 48 hours of sun imagery on the sun, 304 angstroms, large plasma filament, taking off there on the left hand side top left incoming images here large coronal hole is developing in the southern hemisphere and as well that large sunspot has crested now and is in view so very yeah i guess active sun i mean we've got filament eruptions we've got two sunspots to talk about and as well a large coronal hole and it does look a little bit spastic when it comes to uh, coronal holes, jagged edges all over around it in the southern hemisphere, stretching towards the equator. Just observing here some action ahead of the sunspot that has crested. And then a quick look here at the growing coronal hole. As I said, it does look a little bit spastic with all those jagged edges. And then look at that at the last few images there, it's a little fiery region popping up. So looking here at the real time solar wind right now, we're still pretty calm, but we did see a little interference over the past few hours. It even showed on the Schumann resonance, but we are still steady at about 300 average to 330 kilometers per second. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun for Lasco 2. And you can see that energy there from the filament eruption. Planetary K index is still remaining low. Schumann resonance for today, a peak, a power of 17, but a peak during a blackout. Now, I'm not sure what that means, but it shows here on the graph, a complete blackout for a little bit. But you can see on the top graph here, definitely coming down afterwards. So we did see a spike in the Schumann resonance today. And we are at a quality of 7.8, an amplitude of 17. Having a look here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, we're going to start out here most recently. 5.5 in the Solomon Islands in Gizu Solomon Islands at a 10 kilometer depth as well a 5.1 happened earlier than before that earthquakes quieting down here deepest earthquake 580 in Fiji kilometer depth Kermadec Islands have quieted down same with New Zealand but we're seeing now north of the island some small earthquakes as well 5.0 there indonesia 4.5 4.4 here in the philippines 72 kilometer depth as well the volcano islands 4.7 31 kilometer depth and a 4.9 burian borean islands still seeing aftershocks in russia after the large 6.2 the other day, 4.9 there as well. Alaska, the Aleutian Islands, the 4.3, the Rat Islands, and as well a 4.6 here, Sandpoint, Alaska. Hawaii seeing a lot of earthquakes today as well. They started their day off with a 3.5 
earthquake this morning and they've seen quite a few smaller earthquakes continue right across the island and if you want more details please come into the live stream and you can see the large USGS map of the earthquakes on the air on the island looking here at 3.5 here White City New Mexico as well 3.4 3.4 Pinnacles California that is a geyser area seeing an earthquake swarm there recently as well 2.7 Stanley Idaho 4.8 there in La, La Libertad Guatemala and one lonely 3.2 here Puerto Rico I wonder where all the energy went well looks like it's going to Hawaii and of course Algeria yesterday reporting a 6.0 earthquake in Pachaca Algeria and as well they had some sizable aftershocks there 4.4 today at a 10 kilometer depth and as well Portugal reporting a 3.3 at a 10 kilometer depth no major quakes to report in Iceland across the Eurasian plate 4.2 here Russia India and as well Afghanistan 4.4 earthquake at a 205 kilometer depth and last but not least South America where we're still seeing continual earthquakes in San Antonio de la Cobros Argentina I talked about that in my video back when we had the solar eclipse and that place has not stopped rocking since just saying please check out the video link right here and as well looking here at the last seven days for earthquakes <clears throat> still seeing a lot of deep earthquakes across the planet and now we're starting to see these swarms in different places across the planet you got you just have to wonder where is next where's the next swarm gonna be the next large swarm because there's been four areas really keeping an eye on the Atlantic plate up into the North Pole as well very active Western Ring of Fire through Indonesia and of course Hawaii keeping a big eye on Hawaii on that big island and that's the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet have a plan and be ready everybody having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center as well there were a lot of tornado warnings that popped up again today as forewarned in the last few videos rally in North Carolina as well Wakefield Virginia uh, many tornado warnings went out through parts of rally today thoughts and prayers to anybody who's been affected by these extreme weather breakouts across the southeastern United States also seeing many floods through the southeastern regions and central so thoughts and prayers to all of my American friends. I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to give you guys some kind of warning, but these last few videos, I've been forewarning the extreme weather and it's unfolding daily. And it, you're gonna see a break here. Stay tuned to the five day forecast coming up here quick. But that was quite a system that went through and I did document it. There was a large dust storm that came through out of uh, Mexico so let's, let's have a look at the volcanoes Cinnabung Pacaya Dacono Raventador Ebico in Russia as well Fuego Guatemala Popo Sabancaya and Sangay Switzenajima in Japan Ibu Semeru Etna and Era. So that's, yeah, it's still a continual 18 actively erupting, but now almost 56 that are active and erupting across the planet. But that's about 18 updated just on this app. No major tropical systems to talk, to talk about on the planet. 
except for the major system that is affecting the United States. And watch for that to reoccur over the next few days. Just give you a quick look here at satellite imagery across the planet. Cyclone Habana has disappeared. All right, so let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting out here in Calgary, Alberta. As yet, the temperature swing will continue after this last little push here of 16 degree temperatures today, but watch for cooler temperatures in the long range. Winter's still not over. Big, cold, high-pressure ridge developing over north of Alaska that will be cutting through parts of central Canada and into the Hudson Bay. So, winter's not over. Some big low pressure systems here on the west coast. And look at those temperatures in this high pressure ridge. Minus 32 degrees Celsius and will be moving southeastward through the prairies. Calgary will see a, a low of minus 6 by the end of this 5 day forecast. You can say bye bye to those temperatures pretty much Tuesday. After this weekend, the cold temperatures will be back for who knows how long. Now, across the United States, a very intense system will be developing in the long range forecast here for Thursday, or sorry, for Tuesday, Monday into Tuesday. And as well, you could see an intense system heading towards parts of Atlantic Canada as well. So please stay tuned to the Morning Dew for daily five-day forecast because they do change. So not much moisture across Canada this week except for northern parts. And then the high-pressure ridge will move in. And big system affecting the United States. A little break from the storms for about two days. Overlooking Europe, still being affected by this low pressure system that came through and is slowly going to make its way through the Mediterranean. And then as it makes it into part of the Indies, could see some very extreme weather pop up throughout parts of Kuwait and Afghanistan and northeastward as it heads into Russia. Eastern Europe two low pressure systems here keeping winter around for a little bit longer high pressure ridge moving in and warming things up for parts of western Europe still dry across the United Kingdom watch for things to really heat up throughout Africa this week no major systems to talk about except for some intense daily evaporation rains here are parts of Nigeria, possibly, as things really start to warm up in Africa. Thoughts and prayers to everybody worldwide being affected by natural disasters, droughts, heat waves, extreme cold. Big high pressure ridge moving into China here, going to dry things out. No major systems to talk about in the West Pacific through Indonesia or Micronesia could see in the long range forecast a system developed there just north of Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea and then yes overlooking Australia now you guys could have an intense week ahead of you big low pressure system here will be thwarted towards the center of the continent so a High pressure ridge from the south is going to keep things wet along the coastlines, parts of southeastern Australia, Sydney up to Brisbane. But then watch as the low pressure system moves southward right into that line of moisture. You're going to see a big blow up of moisture and extreme weather. So stay aware and prepared, my Australian friends. Extreme weather is on your doorstep. High pressure ridge over New Zealand, keeping things dry. No major systems to talk about through New Caledonia or Fiji, Fiji. And then South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards Paraguay, Bolivia, mountainous regions, and as well later in the week. Could see some intense weather 
through the Argentina-Chile border and into Brazil as that system cooks into the South Atlantic. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the big low pressure systems affecting our planet right now. Please, if you haven't hit that like button, please do so now. Much love to you all and thank you for almost 31,000 followers. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Prayers for humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.